self disrespectful. Self, self, self disrespectful. Hey YouTube, Rocket Ross UK here again. Uh, today we're going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to open a Predator missile and then view the Predator missile from inside the laptop. So I'll show you what we're going to be doing today. Defend the objective. So that looks pretty good there. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to open Sony Vegas. Um, this is the one that I've done here, I'm just going to leave that there so I can copy it because I can't remember what I did. Um, so the first step what you want to gonna do is get a, a clip of a Predator missile. I just grabbed the first one that I could find because I couldn't be asked scrolling through all my footage. So here we've got the Predator missile. Um, what you want to do first of all is find the exact spot where you open the laptop. So keep going just before it goes dark. About there. Then what you want to do is press S on the keyboard and split that. Right, so you need this as a background. So the, the way we do it is you click on this um, save snapshot button up here and click on that. It'll just ask you to save it up here, so we'll just save it as Pred. And that's gone there for us like that. <clears throat> so what we need to do is we're going to drag that over here for now and grab in this snapshot photo. Just point that down there. So now it's going to be, that's for about 5-6 seconds. Then what we're going to want to do is grab this video that we've got here and place it underneath um, the video like that. Um, so now we've got two on top of each other. So what we need to do on this video now is find, if we just mute that one there, that button, so we can only see the bottom line and we can now see just this video here. So we want to find out where the pred comes in. So once you've found the right spot, what you need to do is press S on the keyboard and split that. This first part we won't need, so just press delete on that. And place it direct underneath like that. So now if you were to unmute that one, we've got the laptop, and then underneath there we've got the actual Pred missile. So, uh, the next step is to go onto this video here, and go to Event Pan Crop. Then what you want to do is go to... Um, the mask button down here so what we do is we click on the um, create anchor tool and we start to mask around this laptop uh, the best way I found is to go um, like a couple of millimeters actually outside of where you want to mask because we're going to fade it, feather it in so if you just watch me click there see I'm quite aware away from where I actually want to mask and go up to the glove just pop it in there like that Still saying quite a few millimeters away. And there we go. And then what you need to do is you need to go to um, click on here and go to negative. So now we're already on the preview box up here, we can see the um, the layer underneath the pred missile coming in. And what you need to do is go to feather and go to in and then select. Well, I usually do about two like that. So you can see on the preview box it's more um, smooth around the outside. So close that down. Then what we need to do is we need to go to the Pred Missile um, clip and click the Event Pan Crop. Um, obviously in the preview box at the minute it's quite zoomed in so we need to um, scroll out on here like this and make the this box as big as we possibly can without showing any black lines inside the um, laptop screen. See how big we can get it. Fuck's sake, what's it doing? There we go, so that looks pretty sweet there. <clears throat> right, so once you've got to that stage, uh, just close that down. Um, so now, if we was to just have a quick preview, that'll be fine. So if we play the video now, just from here, I'll just mute the sound so it's not interfering. So we press play. It runs over here, opens the laptop. You see the Pred missile coming in. Bang. So once you've checked that it fits just by like 
if you put your arrow there and then just go across you want the both videos the end bar here to be where it goes fuzzy once you've hit the predator missile there so that's really what you want your last few keyframes to look like in that section then what you do is if you just left click on there and copy that video and just place it here right, so once you've copied the video here all you need to do is find the spot where it goes fuzzy and then he's starting to put his laptop down about there press split and it's the, the right side of the video that you want so you just need to now drag drag and drop that there like that and um, so if you was to play that should look pretty good now he opens up his laptop Pred comes down blitzes the fuck out of that guy and then runs off so yeah that's the kind of effects we want um, I think one other effect that I did in the laptop, um, you can choose any effect you want. On this bottom section down here, I used, um, I think it was an effect called Bandar. I think it was, let me check. So yeah, it was, it was this effect that I used. So you drag and drop that on there, around the front of the, there we go. And I think I just selected it, kind of this like whitey blue colour like that. So if you go to where it's just opening the laptop, you see those two lines there. So that's just the effect of the band door coming in. So you can I'll do it from the start. So it starts like that. Looks pretty good. Zoom in. There we go. Mash them two guys. <coughs> and then if you want, you can just add a quicker fade out effect there if it's the last clip of your video. So that's really how to do the um, Pred Missile looking at the laptop video. You can add other effects like slow motion on the middle part here just by um, holding control and extending that video. You can also add effects, um, some of the video effects, you know, to make the color look good, whether you want red around the outside or the white rays, anything like that. So that's it for today, guys, really. Um, any questions or comments, just send me a message. Thanks for watching. Cheers, guys.